blocks into variables. Remember that uh, this right here is a block and you can put that block into this variable. So all we're going to do here is we're going to put everything that's inside these uh, brackets everything that's inside these brackets right here here we're going to put all of that inside this variable okay then after all of this all of this stuff is inside here we're going to call it and to do that we want to use the method called PROC stands for proc and um, procs are objects as blocks that are pushed into variables that's the official definition for it well that's that's kind of like my smaller definition for it. you can find a more extensive definition but that's not going to help you what I'm trying to do is try to make things simple so basically a proc is a block that you put into a variable and then you call a variable all right, let's do that. So let's call my variable g. g equals, and to put a block into a variable, you got to use proc. So use the thing called proc, and you call new because it's a new one. And what do we want to put in the variable? We want to put whatever is in these uh, squiggly brackets inside. The variable in the squiggly brackets is our block, and just like the last time, you know it's a block because it's in, it's it's inside its own little universe. So, to get the variable inside the little own own little universe, you use the pipe sign. So whatever the variables in here, so I'll call this variable so we don't get confused. Uh, S. Call it S. Sounds good enough. All right. And of course, uh, puts only prints the things to the screen. And whatever it prints to the screen is, is inside these quotes. There you go, like that. And what are we going to put to uh, print to the screen? Any message you want. And for expedience sake, I'm going to say I love. Loss, L O V E, I love. And then, of course, the pound and the brackets, whatever variable, once again, that we defined. This time I defined the S. So, the S in there, it's going to print out whatever they put in the S. The variable is existing in the S. And just so we know the sentence is at an end. Explanation point. All right, so there you go. Press enter, and this means um, it was succeeded. I think this is um, a memory location. Okay, if you get anything else besides that, then you know it didn't. You type something wrong. It's easy to type something wrong. So this is a memory location. Oh my goodness. Um, hmm. I'm sure, that doesn't do anything. So to call back the block, which you're going to call back this here, you're going to call back puts. This has nothing to do with it now, right? Because this is only the method that created this. So to call back whatever you put in here, you're going to call it back through the variable. So you write down the variable and go dot call. And our variable was g, so we go g. Okay. Dot call. And I love nothing because nothing was in there. So you obviously didn't uh, call anything that was in there 
So let's do that again because it takes um, this up here needs something in in there. I love nothing, so nothing was in there. So let's do it again. G dot call. This time we're gonna put something in there. I love um, Powerpuff Girls. Let's say P O Power Puff Girls. Furls. Goodness gracious. I love Powerpuff Girls. All right. Press enter, and boom. I love Powerpuff Girls. And uh, that's how you do uh, blocks. Put blocks into variables, then call your variables. All right. Thank you very much for watching my video. Bye-bye.